Ooh, I just didn't want to go away from hunger. One last dive before we leave. The coral. The sand. And this amazing visibility. Wonderful to dive. But at some point, it's time. Time to turn around. Time to do the next step. decided to go to the Hapai Islands. We want to see more waves. So we left Hunga Lagoon and went to another very quiet anchorage. And Vavau showed off with a beautiful sunset. The next morning we had to get up early. It's about 10 hours to go down to the Harp Ice. So coffee was at 5 o'clock in the morning. A short check on the chow plotter. A short check to the outside. And then off into the engine room. Time for the departure checks. Like the coolant level. And the lovely breakfast with coconut bread. And we are ready to start the engine. The dinghy is fixed. The weather is fine. We're ready to get the anchor up. Isa already removed the anchor snubber. So we are ready to go. The wind is still a little weak, so we motor for a while. Not too long and we set sail and head out of Wabao. The low-lying reefs are difficult to navigate. It's important to always watch out. We are lucky. As soon as we leave the last islands behind us, the wind picks up. Jay Daka is sailing with comfortable six knots, but still the ferry is way faster. Then whale time starts. There are blows and splashing all over the place. Unfortunately, it's difficult to capture all the action with the camera. Once we notice the action, it's too late to capture it. Or the veil is just a few hundred meters away.
Zum Beispiel gibt es heute noch ein Südsee-Eklenz. Oder den Südsee hat da eine heiße Banane sozusagen. Und was ist das? Coconut Bread mit einer Banane. Mmh, lecker. Mmh. 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 Unglaublich fein. <lacht> After the cold banana dog, we continue while watching and approach uh, by. It looks a bit like the Tuamotus, but these are not atolls. These are long, long sandy islands with reefs on either side. The west side is shallow with sandy ground. That's where the whales and I like to dive. The east side drops off deep in rough seas. That's why everybody prefers to be on the west side. Our first anchorage is in Haano, the very north end of the Haapas. From Hano, we move south, all along the east shore. Our destination is Olefa. With the pass nearby, Olefa seems to be interesting to dive. On the way, we bump into whales again. They seem super relaxed, hardly moving. So when we get close to the next one, we stop the engine and just drift. There are usually three whales. The young one and its mother. And usually an escort. Three of them seem to have a good time while we are drifting past them. Just a little later, the next whale is in our way. This seems also to be a mother with her young. On the horizon, the males show off. On Oleva, we do a little walk. First across the island, then along the beaches. There's a little surf on the eastward reef. A 
along the pass, it seems to be a car. We anchored on the other side, on the west side, where the water is flat and calm. Only three boats are in this huge anchorage. It's perfect, good holding sand. With the protection in the east and open water to the west, it's great for spot waves. The next day we meet the locals free diver. They dive off shells, fish, etc. The marker on the surface is a simple tire. At the Serenity Resort we have a candlelight dinner that evening. The next day I explore the pass. I hadn't seen any big fish in the other reefs. So I was curious if I would see more on the eastward reef. It was a scenic dive. I saw some grouper and parrotfish. These are quite a bit bigger than in the westward reefs. The westward reefs are just too easy to get to, so the fish doesn't get too old. The drop off to the pass is steep, but as I am alone, I don't like to go down there. While the fish isn't too big, I'm by far not the biggest animal here. Mostly I head out to snorkel because I want to see the whales. But just dipping into this strange world is worth the effort. So I head out whenever there is sunlight. The higher the sun, the better the light, the better the view down there. While seeing whales on the water is pretty difficult, hearing them is so easy. I anchored the dinghy on a little sea mount. All around it, just water. But below it, nice snorkeling. No spear fishing here because there are no big fish. We head to town where we want to do some internet business. And all along these shallow waters, we find the whales. It's time for a short city walk. The most important feature for us today is the mobile phone towers. With 4G internet speed, we prepare the next legs. But first, we sail to another lonely island in the Harpies. We want to relax and see some more whales out here.
we are lucky. A resident family seems to be here. They hang out in the anchorage and come sometimes very close. They don't seem to be disturbed, so we stay there for a day. The weather changes a little bit, but the whales, they stay. I guess this means playtime. Whatever, at some point it's time to move on. Not only for the whales, but also for us. We decide to leave the whales and go back to Pangai. So the next day, after a little breakfast, we leave this wonderful island. It's been a wonderful anchorage. It's hard to leave this anchorage with the white sand bottom, the clear water, the atoll, the coral, and of course, the whales. But in the bright sunshine, with good wind, it's fun to sail again. It's fun and relaxing. Back at the internet, we hand in the Fiji pre-arrival notice. See you in Fiji.